evaluate the limit. First question we need to ask ourselves is, can I plug in the 3 right away for x? In this case, the answer will be no. Why is that? Because we would be getting 0 in the denominator if we were to plug in the 3 right away. So we can't do that. But what can we do? Well, I can factor the expressions that I have in the numerator and the denominator. And that might help. You'll see why. Okay, so I'll start with the 6x squared minus 18x. Um, I can factor out a, the greatest common factor here, which would be 6x. 6x squared divided by 6x is just x. And negative 18x divided by 6x is negative 3x. Or, whoops, no, just negative 3. I don't know how that happened. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so, okay. Um, what about the trinomial in the numerator? How can I factor this? If you can't remember, you can always refresh um, your trinomial factoring skills at our website. Here's my strategy. Here's how I do it. You want to find two numbers that multiply to whatever those two multiply to. 2 times negative 9 is negative 18. And those two numbers need to add up to negative 3, the middle term here. So the numbers that multiply to negative 18 add up to negative 3 or negative 6 and 3. And what I'll do is that I'll split up the middle term into negative 6x plus 3x. Then the negative 9 will come down, and so will the 2x squared. All right, now what do we do? Now we factor by grouping. Those two with these two. So, what is the greatest common factor of 2x squared and negative 6x? It'll be just 2x. 2x squared divided by 2x is just x. Negative 6x divided by 2x is just negative 3. Okay, what about between 3x and negative 9? Well, I can factor out a 3. 3x divided by 3 is x. Negative 9 divided by 3, negative 3. These must be the same, and they are, which is a good thing. If they weren't, we did we probably did something wrong factoring this trinomial. So what do we get here? 2x plus 3. And the x minus 3 only once. So I get 2x plus 3 times 2x minus 3. Whoops. No no no. That was wrong. Again. Well, wow. second mistake of the video. Hopefully the last one. So I get x minus 3 here. Um, great. Now I can cancel these two out. So I just get the limit as x approaches 3 of 2x plus 3 over 6x. And now I can actually plug in the 3 because I no longer get a 0 in the denominator. So I get 2 times 3 plus 3 over 6 times 3. 2 times 3, 6 plus 3. All over 6 times 3, 18. 6 plus 3 is 9, over 18, whoops, that was unintentional. <laughs> and this can be simplified into half. That's it. Hopefully, it made good sense to you, and try out some more questions. Good luck.